everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Y'all, today, all I can say is, oh my goodness, it is so gorgeous. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you're here and welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you to everyone who is supporting me day in and day out. You know, I like to think that all of my crafts are just great, but today's I think is just extraordinary and you picked a great day to stop by because I think you're going to love it. And so here it is. It all started with the file folder. We're going to take a file folder and we're going to turn it into something awesome. I'm going to give you a closer look in just a minute, but for those of you who have made an investment in file folders, because we did a lot of file folder crafting on the channel, pull them out because you're going to want to make this project. For those of you who have any type of a celebration or an event coming up, pull out those file folders because you're going to want to make this project. So I'm not going to keep you in suspense any longer. Y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here is a closer look at today's awesome project. And when I say awesome, I mean it. This is an absolutely spectacular project and I think you're going to love it. I have mine dressed in a very feminine way, but any season, any reason, anyone, change out the papers, change the embellishments, and you can make this a gift for anyone. Now, I know that Mother's Day is fast approaching in the UK. So that's what this project is going to be all about. It is going to be to give you an idea of something that can be made for mom. Now, even if you're like me and your mother has passed, you can still do Mother's Day crafting. You probably know some nurturers, some sisters, some aunties, some friends at work, a bestie. You probably know a lot of people who would appreciate getting some acknowledgement on Mother's Day. You might even know a single father who is pulling double duty why not acknowledge him on Mother's Day? It doesn't have to be feminine like this, but you could offer some type of an acknowledgement for the fact that he is both mom and dad. We are going to be making this splendid folio and it is beautiful guys. When I open it, you'll see exactly what I mean. So I am trying to make sure that y'all can see all of this beauty because over here we have a pocket. Then when you open this, we actually have an envelope right here where we can tuck in all types of goodies and gift cards or cash if you want. And tuck behind the envelope, we have a mat. So you can pull out that mat and you're able to add a photo or you can add a quick note to the person that you're giving this to. And then when we've added our little something to the back. We can just tuck it back in behind the envelope. Then here we have two little pockets and we have pull out tags in the pocket so you can tuck those back in and we have one down here as well put that back in there and then we have this pocket over here I just have this little tag but you can add a photograph you can do some journaling you can add a photo here you can place some stickers there completely up to you I really wanted to make sure that I added a whole bunch of nooks and crannies so that you would have places to tuck this and tuck that and write this and write that. So easy to do. And y'all know what? The base of this is a file folder. So if you have any file folders, and I believe that a lot of you do because we've done quite a bit of file folder crafting on the channel, go ahead and pull them out. Now would be a great time to use them. So I am going to close this. And I'm using one of those Dollar Tree porcelain-like stickers. I love how it goes on and comes off so we don't have to worry about a belly band or anything else. So as I said, it all starts with a file folder. And I found my file folders at Pop Shelf a few months ago. And I think I got nine in the pack and it was three different patterns. But I know that a lot of you have purchased those file folders. So this is a great craft for them. So I'm going to set that to the side because we're not going to need the whole folder. Here is what we are going to need. So for the two small inner pockets, we're going to need two pieces that measure two and a half by three. Then for the big pocket, I have a piece that measures three by three. And then I have a matte piece for that that measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Then I have my two tag pieces for those inside pockets. 
and these measure two by three. And then I have my larger tag for the larger pocket and this measures two and a half by five. Then I have the mat that will be tucking behind the envelope and this measures seven by four and seven eighths. I have this scrap piece that's left over from the envelope and it measures two by 12. We will be trimming that down so we won't need all of it. And then I have cut half of my file folder down to 11 by eight and a quarter. And then for my envelope, I have a piece that measures 10 by 12. This is going to be such a beautiful project because I love how this color combination is actually working. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard and on the 11 inch side, we are going to score this at five and a half. And then we can fold it. And I will give it a very quick burnishing. So there is our folio outside. Now we're going to go ahead and make the envelope. So I am going to take the piece that measures 10 by 12. And on the 10 inch side, we score at one. And we score at nine. And then on the 12 inch side, we're going to score this at four and three quarters. And at nine and seven eighths. And now we're going to fold and burnish our scores. And to make the envelope, we're going to have four intersecting points. And that is where we'll do our cuts. And those points happen where we fold this way and we fold that way. If you turned it like this, you would see an X. Dead center is where we're going to cut. So the wider section here is the bottom. So I'll use my finger blade and as I'm going down the bottom, I'll angle in a little. And then I'll do the same thing on the side. So we've notched out like that. We're going to do the same thing over here. So there's the bottom of our envelope. We'll do the same thing here. So I'll notch, 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 and notch. And then on the flap, I am just going to round that a little. And there's our envelope. So we just fold in those sides. We're going to fold up the top just like that. And we're going to use our glue to close it. So I'll take my glue and I'm going to place my glue right along the edge. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of glue there and there. And now I can fold that up, use my big old spatula to get that nice and stuck. And now we're going to take our envelope and when I put it in, I am going to put it in so that it's all the way at the fold. And when I put it down, I am going to add glue around here, along the bottom and here. And all it takes is a thin bead. And those of you who are waiting on reptile glue to come back in stock on Amazon, hopefully you'll be able to find it late March or early April. It is not shipped during the cold weather months because of freezing. And unfortunately, I don't have any other sources for you. But once it comes out, make sure you stock up. So when I put this down, I'm just going to butt it against the score mark and then I'll lay it down. And I'm going to use my big old spatula to make sure that I have a nice stick. And y'all can see how easy this project really is. It is not hard at all. So now I'm going to bring in my two pockets that measure two and a half by three. 
I'm going to place these in my scoreboard on the three inch side and we're going to score at half an inch. And then I'll fold that over so that the white is showing. And I'll fold that over. And now I'm going to glue my flaps over. Get that stuck. And now I have my two pockets. I'm going to put one there and one there. So I am going to take my glue again and add my glue on three sides of this pocket. I'm not adding any glue where the fold over occurred. So when I put this down, I'm just eyeballing my placement And then I'll do the same thing here at the top. And y'all, isn't it amazing how we're able to make our own beautiful, beautiful projects? We don't have to go to the store and buy anything like this because we can sit down and we can make it. So I have placed that one down. I pretty much eyeballed it as well. If you want to be more exact, you can pull out your ruler and do some measuring. But when you place it down, you want to make sure that you place it down so that it is not interfering with your flap. So now we're going to take this piece and we're going to place it down over here. So this is our three by three and our three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm going to use my tape runner to place this piece down. And I'll just place it down on this mat. And then again, I'll take my glue and I'm only going to place glue on three sides of this mat. And I'll take my mat and I'm going to put it down right there. And you can alter this design however you want. It's just a blueprint of how we can do things like this. But if you want to alter it, you most certainly can. So now we're going to bring in the mat that measures seven by four and seven eighths. And then we're going to bring in the scrap piece that measured two by 12. I am going to go ahead and just trim this down to seven inches. So I'll have a seven by two inch piece. And then I'm going to score this at one. And now I can fold it. And I'm just going to add some glue. And now I can take this piece and we're going to get it stuck. And that's how easy it is to make a decorative piece of stationery. Doesn't take a whole lot. So I am just going to open this up a little bit so that we can take our tag and just tuck it in behind that envelope. And do you guys see how quickly this is coming together? It does not take a whole lot. So I'm going to bring in my scissors and I am simply going to round my tags so that I can put them in the pocket. And these are the two by three inch tags that we need for this project. this one out and we'll put it in as well. Let's go 
go ahead and tuck that in there. And then we're going to bring in the two and a half by five inch tag. And this time, I'm just going to angle it in a tag shape. And now I can take this tag and just tuck it in that pocket. So y'all, the construction of this awesome folio is done. Now we get to do some decorating. So I am going to bring in my Velcro dots. Got these from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take two and match them. Remove that backer. Take this Velcro dot, place it right there, remove that backer, and then I can place it down to close my envelope. And now we can open this and you can see all of this quick goodness that we have here. This isn't taking us long at all. So now I have this Mom Life sticker pack that I got from Hobby Lobby's The Paper Studio. It was $6.99 originally and I got mine half off a while back. And I am just going to go through and find me some stickers that I want to put down. So I am going to take this one that says family time and I want to put that here at the bottom of the tag. And y'all, anytime that you can find gold foil stickers, go ahead and make sure you grab some of them because they instantly elevate the look of our projects. So I'm going to tuck that back in. Then I'm going to continue to try to find some gold foil stickers. And I think I'm going to take this one that simply says weekend and it's a little banner. So we're going to put that right there on the front. And then I want the one that says family is forever. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to try to center it right there. We don't have to add a whole lot, just some little pieces here and there is really going to help to kick this up so many notches. So then I'm going to use just a couple of my rub-ons and I see the ones that I want and I'm just going to put those down because they're gold and they're going to give me that consistent look that I want on this project. So I am just cutting them out and I'm using those Dollar Tree gold rub-ons. So there's one and I think I'm going to take this rub on and we're going to put it down like that. So let's lift up and see what we have. We have that nice little rub on there. I'm going to add one here at the top. And when I'm working with a rub-on sheet like this that has a lot of different rub-ons, I just go in and cut out the portion that I want and I leave the rest intact. And that way I don't have to try to keep up with little pieces of a rub-on. So you can see here how I removed that from this piece. So now we'll take this one and this time we'll place it there and I'm just going to rub it down into place and there we have our sweet little rub on here and here and then I'm just going to cut out these little pieces here and I'm just going to use them on the tag portion so I'm doing a lot of mixing, but I think I'm getting a pretty cute look here. Now 
I'll peel this away. And there's one. And there's two. So that's how simple it was for me to create this. And you can see just how gorgeous this absolutely is. So now all I'm going to do is add something there. And y'all, we're pretty much done. So there's a sticker in here and it's a heart and it says, love being mom. And I'm going to take that sticker and I'm going to put it right there like a little button closure. All right, and the last thing that I want to do is just add a closure to this. And so to do it, I'm going to keep it very simple. I am going to use just this little floral piece of ephemera that I have and I'm going to wrap it around just like that. Then I'm going to use one of my Dollar Tree stickers to hold everything down. And what I like about these stickers, especially on the coating of the file folder, they peel right up very easily. So now all I need to do is flip it over and add some glue to this piece. I'm not putting glue where it's actually going to hit the fold. The glue is all the way on the back pieces. So now I can stick that down. And so there we have it, y'all. We have another beautiful folio for mom. But these can be for any season, any reason, anyone. And y'all, I am so serious when I say that because all you need to do is change your papers and your embellishments. Use this as a design prototype and then just change it to fit the person that you might be gifting this to. It does not have to be feminine. It doesn't have to be masculine. It can be whatever it is you want it to be. So I raised my camera so that I can try to get both of these into frame at the same time because y'all, they are Gorgeous. And as I was sitting here looking at these, I kept thinking that these would be perfect wedding invitations. If you're not planning a wedding for hundreds of people, making your own wedding invitations in a style such as this, this would be a simply elegant way to make those invitations. But if you're not having a wedding and you want to use something like this, it's perfect for that. So I hope that you've enjoyed this super easy way that we can take a file folder and turn it into something as beautiful as this. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.